All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Monster Menagerie. In this episode, we're going to make it an exhibit for some giant rats. Um, this is one that just sort of came to me uh, when I saw the giant rat download. I wasn't actually planning on doing it so much. Uh, just sort of the uh, the idea kind of popped into my head when I saw it. Originally, I was going to do probably like a chupacabra or something, but uh, I just didn't really feel like it. Um, so I saw this, and I was like, yeah, I think I got an idea for that. And basically what I'm going for is sort of a wasteland slash junkyard kind of a, um, a look for the exhibit. It turned out alright. Um, it was kind of hard to make it look exactly how I wanted to just because there's not as many um, like assets and um, items and stuff that I can really use to represent like garbage and refuse and stuff laying all, all, around, the, uh, all around the exhibit. But it turned out good enough, I guess, and it, like I said, it's, it's really just a small filler exhibit anyway, so it's not that big of a deal if it doesn't look perfect. Um, but yeah, so it, I think it does look pretty creepy at the end once it's all finished, so that's good. At least it does nail uh, that aspect, which I think is pretty important for this zoo. I want all the exhibits to definitely have a creepiness factor. And there's a lot of people out there that are scared of rats, so that always helps. Me not being one of them, I personally don't understand the fear of rats at all. Uh, I've always really loved rats. I actually used to have rats, and mice, and guinea pigs. So I've always been very much okay with small scurrying animals. It doesn't bother me. Um, yeah, so I went the uh, the mountain terrain because I thought that would be a good uh, color to represent sort of the uh, wasteland area, um, and I. To kind of want it to look really uneven and stuff, almost like there's like the grounds kind of just piled up with garbage and junk and everything. Um, and it it wasn't that easy to do it because some of the stuff does have, like some of the items do flatten the ground and stuff and, and cause a little bit of an issue that way, but it, it didn't end up being too big of a problem. And here I'm just placing the rats and then we'll jump into guest mode and give you guys a quick little tour of what's going on and the look of it. I think, like I said, it's, I don't, I'm not 100% uh, satisfied with it, but I think it does nail the creepiness factor. When you see all the rats running around through the fog and stuff, you can just kind of catch glimpses of them. Uh, it's definitely something that I think would creep people out, so it definitely uh, definitely works in that in that regard, so pleased with it that way. Um, but if I were to do it different, again, I'd probably do it a little bit differently, um, but that's okay. It's a small exhibit anyways. Um, so yeah, this is going to pretty much do it for this one though, guys. You guys could leave your suggestions as always in the comments. Um, subscribe if you want to see more of the series. A like helps me out a lot. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.